Yep. Hello everyone, uh, myself Kirish. Uh, I'm here with the new tutorial on Abacus. So if you're new to Abacus, you can uh, refer this video. So in which I'm going to explain uh, how to work on the Abacus platform and uh, to deal with this a simple analysis that is the break with hole. Okay. We'll also go through these stages that is uh, the analysis process, starting from the part, creating the part and defining the properties working on the assembly, defining the instances, assigning the steps and the interactions to apply the uh, loading conditions and uh, meshing. Finally, uh, to just visualize the results. Okay, let's get started. Yeah, so this is the Abacus Sys interface as it could say. Uh, this is quite easy to uh, deal with the analysis process here. I'll just explain in short. So this is the menu bar. Here you can able to uh, create a new uh, studies and you can import these step files and all if you need it. And you can do uh, more things. And if you want to just uh, uh, create a new folk directory, you can just select this one and you can set it up. Model tab and viewport like this. We have the uh, different options in the tools and all. You can set up the partitions and all and uh, setting up the uh, different surfaces and uh, you can create even uh, different display groups okay this is all possible here and uh, coming to the next thing this is the model tree here you have all the setup process starting from the modeling to assembly and setting up the sections and uh, creating the boundary conditions that is loads and uh, fixtures and directly applying the job and running the uh, whichever the job you create uh yeah so in the module you have the same steps if you are familiar with these all the steps you know these things that is more than enough to run any of the simple analysis okay and these are the uh model and the part steps depending upon the uh, analysis it will help you out and these are the reports display styles and you can switch accordingly and this is for zoom panning and this is for uh, rotating the model okay of it and zoom in zoom out everything this is perspective mode and the uh it is turn and turn off and remaining steps okay all the display styles this is quite good yeah now to create the component you can use the part tab so here you can able to use this part creation mode and other features these all the things okay uh let me start with the first thing that is create a part so once you click on it it will ask to for the part name so I'll just name it as plate with hole <coughs> and I'll select the 3D model not the 2D planar one it should be deformable and the shape should be solid not the shell or wire point okay if you're dealing with the 2D analysis you can go ahead with the shell and the wire okay the type is extrusion revolve and sweep is there so right now I just want to extrude the model so I'll just select the extrusion okay approximate size I'll keep it as uh, 200 is enough click on continue okay it will take you the uh, xy plane and you can create the model here i'll start with the rectangle i can simply uh, draw a rectangle like this once you are done with this you can use these dimension tools okay you can even assign the auto constraints okay the large dimension uh this should be uh i'll take it as 100 at the moment and this distance should be Hundred approx. Okay, and uh, I do want this center circle, so you can maximize or you can use this zoom fit. You can draw it like this, and using this smart dimension that is dimension tool, and assign the dimension. So radius should be twenty. Okay, and uh, from this point to this, it should be uh, fifty. Okay. And here in the dialog box, you could able to see the dimension now, uh, which dimension you're going to apply. Actually, can you see here? So, new dimension should be 100. Okay, yeah, so use this one to fit. So, these are the dimensions. Once you're done with this, you can simply hit enter. Okay, and uh, and click on done. It will ask you for the depth. I'll take it as of. Uh, so oh, it's better to go with the 10mm is fine. Okay. Yep. So this is the model. 
so now if you want to zoom in zoom out scroll in and scroll out if you want to pan it you can use the uh this option directly or else you can hold the control alt and uh, middle cursor button drag it if you want to rotate it left cursor button and you can rotate it like this okay this is how you can deal with this just control alt left click for rotating and uh, control alt and middle cursor button and drag will help you to pan it okay so that's about the uh, navigation once you're done with this the model is ready so we are done with this so i prefer you to use this particular chart okay let's say in the parts we have created the plate with whole model right the feature is already here now once you're done with this you need to assign the uh section very important step so here you need to double click on it and you need to select the whole model into the section assignment just click on done or if, I, if you want you can name it so here you need to <coughs> create the section so what exactly section means it will ask you whether it is a solid shell or a p or the type is homogeneous or something else so this is a solid and the homogeneous material right just say click ok or the continue to just assign this section okay now the next step is it will ask you for the material so you can use this material tab and define it or else if you use the shortcut method that is assigning the sections that is also fine so a bank is uh, doesn't have the set of uh, material as we have in the other softwares but you can create your own material standards or if you want to customize it you can even customize it according to your requirement so at the moment i'll create the new material so very important so for static analysis the density is okay and inks modulus and the poisons ratio is more than enough to deal with this okay i'll name it as steel from the general you have these all the options i'll use the density I'll take it as 7850 okay mechanical so here we have the odd properties like if you want to deal with the plastic but it's not linear dynamic analysis express implicit you can assign these all the uh uh values with respect to the requirement okay and then right now at the moment i'm going to deal with the elastic that is only elastic not the hyper elastic or whatever it is okay if i select the elastic you have the new tab here you need to define the inks modulus i'll take it 2 into 10 raised to 5 okay it is an si systems so remember that the poisons ratio is 0.3 by default the Abaco software is going to deal with the SI unit system. So keep this in mind according to that, define the dimensions and the, the values. So I'm done with this. Click on OK. OK, it is just saying name. <coughs> Let me see. The name must be 1 to 38 characters long may not begin with a number may not begin and end with the space and all or i think something is i think it should break so time should be isotropic so in all the ways the properties are same yeah, the structural steel it took so i'll just click on i'm not going to take the plane stress and strain what is plane stress and plane strain very important so in each and every interviews this question will be there plane stress in the sense the stress along which direction you are going to apply perpendicular to that direction the normal stress and the shear stress will be zero same thing for the plane strain the strain in which direction you are going to apply for that direction perpendicular direction okay the plane strain normal strain and the shear stress will be c shear strain will be zero okay normal strain and the shear strain will be zero 
to the perpendicular direction of the application of strain if you want you can google it you'll get to know okay so section got assigned for that section the material is also assigned you could see the type is solid homogeneous and the material is structural steel this is done so in short in one step we have assigned this uh, section as well as the material so if you would have followed this process it would be the same okay so once you are done with the properties now assembly so in the assembly what it does is it will ask you for the instances and the component or the part you're going to select so for that you can select this option that is create instance so here i'm going to deal with the only parts not the models so it will ask you for the uh, models let's say if you have multiple you can even select that one for the analysis okay let's say i'm going to deal with the only few of this let's say i'm having the multiple parts here okay so for the analysis what and all you need you can select it here okay it is only one part dependent measure is needed just click on okay so it will be taken into account okay yep so we are done with the assembly as well so next thing is to deal with the step so in the step it will ask you for the greatest step so what exactly it is is it will ask you for the analysis which you are going to do so i'm going to deal with the static analysis right and now what's this so if i select the general from here you could able to deal with the static general analysis and the dynamic explicit and implicit analysis and the other kind of non-linear analysis and if i select linear perturbation with respect to this we can deal with the buffling frequency and the static analysis as well with respect to perturbation and remaining analysis so at the moment static analysis is needed static general is fine just click on continue okay it shows the same thing so i think let me see now backslash where it is yeah Yep, this is the uh, step type here. If you're going to deal with the non linear analysis, you, may, you might need to manage these all steps. Right now, I'll keep these all these things default, okay, increment and all. If you're dealing with the explicit analysis, that is, uh, or drop test and all, you can keep the, you can just set the increment size and all as. Okay, right now, I'm not going to change anything. So, solution type is full Newton, not the fancy Newton. Just click on OK at the moment. The step is defined. Sorry, huh? the step is defined. The next thing is to deal with the interaction. Uh, yep, so in interaction plays very important role here because <coughs> I think the coordinate system is somewhere here. It's quite difficult to assign the point here. The thing is, a uh, Navacus. If you want to apply the force on this face, it is quite complicated. So for that, I need to define the uh, <coughs> reference point. Okay, so reference point should be in between these two. Okay, to check the dimensions and all from the center coordinate system is somewhere here. Okay, now the thing is, I need the center point on this. So what I'll do is, uh, I'll simply create a partition. So I'll just select this. So I'll try to just select this edge. Now, exactly at the center, <coughs> I need it. I believe this is the center for this. I'll draw a line so that I can just use this line for the partition okay I escape and done okay now <coughs> i'll switch to the interaction i need the rp point okay so this rp point should be at the center of this so i got the center point as a reference okay <coughs> oh enter the values it shows only one is enough for me okay rp2 is fine <coughs> so 
so i tried creating points here but it didn't work but this is a shortcut which i had used to create the rp.2 so <clears throat> one more thing is i need to create the uh bonding for this that is the rigid body contacts i need to define so that if i select this entire face with respect to this rp point it should apply the force on this whole face so for that you need to use this uh create a con uh, constraints <clears throat> i want the rigid body constraint to be taken into account at the moment i don't want the time at all it will ask you for the reference point i'll just use this icon to pick the point that is rp2 is fine so i want to pin it not the tie pin in the sense it is kind of bonding just select this one and i'll use this option to select so i'll hold the uh shift and i'll try to select this face and this face these two face should be needed to account hit down done <coughs> so this is done click on ok so now this will be created into reference that is done right so now to deal with the next thing that is loading conditions the first thing is i'm going to assign the ports so in the first we have the different types of uh, <coughs> uh loading conditions that is concentrated first so which is used to only apply on the points on the so for that you need to have the point here and the moment pressure and all the loading conditions you can apply it so at the moment concentrated force is needed i'll just select this the point should be this as a reference click on done so now here you need to specify so cf1 cf2 cf3 is the xyz so cf1 is the x right so along the x direction only you need to apply right so it should be a uh, 10,000 newton for me <coughs> remaining should be zero i don't need to worry about it now hit on enter okay that is done the force is applied so next thing is to apply the uh fixture at the back face so I'll go to this so we can apply both okay rotation and the excess so at the moment i'll use this one if you use this rotation and the uh, displacement you need to select all the uh, rotations and you need to specify zero to assign the rotational picture in the moment i'll use this so i'll go with the continue option and i'll just select this face as a reference click on done so this one <coughs> so in caster all the is zero so this is one way to apply okay or else if you want to deal with another way i'll just showcase how it works so rotation just click on continue just select the space again hit on done okay now you need to select these all and define zero this is another way no <coughs> so i'm done with the loading conditions so the next thing is to deal with the mesh very important stuff so for that i'll simply click on this mesh so automatically will recognize this model so this these are the options to deal with so at the moment <coughs> I'll take the mesh control. So automatically it will take the uh, hex and uh, hex dominant sometimes, but I need the header at the moment because I'm familiar with these kind of meshes. So even you can use the hex. If you want to refine it, you can even split this entire model with respect to this line and uh, edges, as I said before. I showcased you right how to split it. So according to that, you can split it, but I don't want it. That uh, header mesh is fine for me now. I'll use this. <clears throat> so here i'll just see the part with respect to the uh, requirement i'll take it as uh 2mm okay according to that it should partition the model as you could see the mesh elements here so once you're done with this you can simply create the mesh that is mesh the full part click on okay so it will create the mesh <clears throat> so this looks fine no issues for me well so once the meshing is is done optimization is not needed uh, optimization in this is uh, you might need to change the dimensions accordingly so i'm not going to deal with this at the moment so job so defining the job you may need to deal with the create job so from here also you can do it <coughs> mm, this is the option jobs right click on it and create same thing you can click on this icon as well so it will be created automatically it will ask you for the uh, some options to define so at the moment you don't need to worry about it just click on okay this is done if you simply click on submit it will run the analysis but before that i want to showcase one more thing so what and all output you are looking for if you want to check that 
you can see i'm just looking for the stress result strain displacement force and the contacts contact stress and all okay in this i'm looking for only the stress if you want you can select what and all you want by default only stress will be selected okay if you want the all my stress and equivalent stress you can even select that <coughs> strain okay same thing total strain and all whatever you are looking for you can simply select it from here so displacement okay Chala. so click on ok and then you can simply right click on that and uh, submit the <coughs> option so job one is already created before i had done the multiple analysis now with respect to job one name there are uh, different uh, results saved i want to replace it now i simply click on ok so what it does is that will replace it and it will run the job one for this model okay as you could see on the job one it shows it's still running in the sense at the back end the analysis is running and if you want to monitor this we have the monitor option from here so you can able to see this and even you can check the warnings okay what exactly is going on at the back end so you can even refer this uh, uh status bar here the commands <coughs> okay as you could see it shows the job is completed now we can switch to the uh, results tab from here okay or else you can directly use the uh, visualize from here <coughs> both are same so now once i click on this option uh plot the undeformed shape so it will ask you for the odb file so it is available in this open and open odb because uh, it should load the file right you need to go to open <coughs> you have to select the files from the time you can define the reference directory in the beginning itself where you want to save these files uh that is by default permit time i'll use the job one <coughs> and this is the uh deformed shape and you can switch to this it is undeformed shape and you can use this option that is to check how it is <coughs> The results are changing so you could see uh, the stress results it is uh, 37 mega pascal <coughs> okay and if i switch to the uh, displacement so if you want to switch you can use this icon you can use this one so this is stress and if i switch to this option see this is the displacement this is uh 0 0.0122 okay so depending upon the mesh your results will be there so you just need to uh, use the mesh convergence to cross check the results accordingly so what is mesh convergence is uh, with respect to mesh if you even decrease the mesh size the stress should be same the one mesh stress should be relatively same it should not increase more <coughs> so at the moment uh we're able to see the one mesh stress is uh 37.90 okay so this is the displacement you could see so this is not exactly the same it is exaggerated on options here Yes, in this common options, we can set it to the uh, scale factor. So it is too much, it is 164 times. If you want uniform, we can set it to one. To just check how exactly uh, the model is behaving with respect to the Q scale, apply. This is how it is. Okay. So this is how your unless it says yeah so at these regions uh the stress concentration is more but the question arises here sometimes you may face this question in interview so if i take the same analysis without hole the plate without hole okay the same boundary conditions and plate with hole uh for the same boundary condition but the stress concentration will be more for this hole model with a bleed but the stress concentration will be more at this reason without old model so why this is because of the stress concentration so if you want to find out the stress it is the formula is force per unit area right so if you use this 
<coughs> all the two models that is played with hole and played without hole so if i consider the area distribution so here it should be a total area minus this area will be the total area which you are going to deal with right but for that model it is the complete area so difference in the area well uh, leads to this kind of changes okay and even the hole if you insert this kind of hole in any of the models at the whole regions the stress concentration will be more that you need to remember so if you want to study about this more you can refer the google and the youtube which will explain about this uh, if you input the hole inside the model and run the analysis so how the stress will change and uh, where the stress concentration will be more you can able to get it okay yep so that's all about this session i hope you got this how to deal with these all things Okay, thank you all, stay tuned.